Hello, I'm Ivan Muscevius, and today I'll be showing you some stretches that are very essential for skateboarding. I would say the first thing that any skateboarder should invest in when it comes to stretching, you need one of these. Foam roller, it's good for therapy, good for loosening the muscles, and it just is really helpful, it's good. A lot of pros use this, believe it or not. You know, if you have a tight hamstring or a tight quad muscle, tight calf, you would use this. So what I usually start off to begin my day or to begin my routine, lay it on the floor, simply just put it to my right hip, or whatever hip you want to start with, and then you want to put more weight on the hip by rolling on it. The farther you put your arm out, the more weight that's going to be distributed to your to your thigh. So you just roll side to side in a straight line. You do this for give yourself a limit. Maybe I'm going to go 10 times. I probably did more. I'm gonna go to the side now. Go to the other side. Same thing. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. You wanna balance it out. Do this for a while. And if you're doing this for the first time, it's gonna be really painful, believe it or not. But that's when you know it's working. So just remember to breathe. Slow, deep breaths. Because you you're opening your muscles. Now, what you can do is on the front of the quad. This one is painful. You can overlap your leg over the other. Other side. Same thing. You make sure you want to have the weight distributed right here on the center because if you have it too much on the side it's going to do this or that it's pretty annoying so it takes practice once you're done finishing the front the front quad sides you want to do the back so we're going to focus on the back calf you can do this both feet on but it's not going to give a deep massage you know what we're doing is massaging the muscles to relax them and to give us better performance. So let's do this for a while. Again, it's gonna hurt, but that's good. You know, just keep doing it. Keep breathing until your muscles feel loose and relaxed. That's what we we're aiming for. These might look a little weird in public. But I do these before I go out to skate. You know, I massage my my hamstrings, my quads, all that before I go skate. Can we do this too? For a little bit. These are good. Also, I'd say her back too. You might not think we're using her back, but we are. What do you do for backside and front side board sides? turn your body while doing tricks too so front side and back side you want to make sure you get your back relax his muscles you know when you do this it's okay but when you extend your arms more weight and pressure goes on the midsection or whatever you're rolling on that's what you want those are all the stretches with the foam roller so this is a pre-stretching uh, technique. This is very good. Before you do any uh, physical activities for the day, your muscles need to wake up. They need to warm up. Um, so 
this is this is good. We're massaging them out. All right, let's do a few good stretches for skating. I'm just gonna say basic squat. A uh, good squat is shoulder length apart. Your feet shoulder length apart and uh, arms up. You're gonna bend your knees. Your butt's gonna go out. And the goal is you don't want your toes lifting up or your heel lifting up. That's when you know something's off in your body. That's not doing the right squat. So you can do this a few times. Warm up your knees. Because what do we do as skateboarders? You gotta crouch to pop, right? You can do a few of these arm rotations while doing squats. If you don't wanna do this, that's fine. Just, uh, you can apply what whatever it is you want to learn, you know? This is what I do before I go skate. I do this at home, and people think I don't stretch when I go skate, and it's like, you're not gonna stretch? It's cold as hell. It's like, dude, I already got an hour stretch before I came here, so. I'm just demonstrating what I do. This is what I do. I do a few of those. Good for the quads, calves. Um, I could say these. These are good. These are good for your your hips, you lean side to side, relax, breathe. You don't want to tense up while you're doing stretches. Have your left foot. Switch to the other side. No matter how tired or stiff you are, you want to do the same stretch to the other side. You want to give want that balance. More advanced. Just takes practice. Before, I could even touch my toes. Now I can't. Just practice. Just breathe. These are bad. This is what you call ballistic stretching. Bouncing techniques. They used to teach us in the 70s. This is bad. You know, you, you might have a, a more likely possibility, like uh, to tear a muscle. You don't want that. So the best thing to do is just go as far as you can and let your head hang. When you do that, you're adding more weight to bring you down towards your feet. You, do, you're gonna, you probably feel it in your lower back back of your hamstrings, and that's good. Just hold it, breathe. When you do that, you hold it for about five seconds or more, and a rep, bring back up. Okay, let's go back again. Hold it. Again, I can't touch my toes, that's all right. Just, dang. Then you can do a few of these. Good for your hamstring balance on one leg. A few of these. I like these. It's like something you'd see on Dragon Ball Z. Goku stretches. Slowly. This is a good hip opener. Kind of put your butt out, chest up. Same thing. You know, when you're young, you don't have to. You don't have to do any of these. You just go up and skate. But the older you get, you start sniff. You start stiffening up, and your body's been through a lot of experiences and memories. So you have to relax it every once in a while and it's good to stretch. Especially after a workout or after a skate sesh because that's um, the body releases something that we call lactic acid. And that's what um, is a sensation of muscle soreness. That's when your muscles are very tense, can't move. Well, best thing to do, go back to the foam roller, roll it out and that will help release the muscles. So we did these squats, um, toe touches, we can do these as well, 
lay on your back and then cross one leg over either this way or this way and the best thing to do is just have one hip always grounded both arms out as a way of being parallel and straight and hold it to get deeper in the stretch if you want to you could do this you could grab your you grab your foot then bring out it's more intermediate you might feel it in this hamstring and right here in the back of the glute in this area again these probably look weird as fuck in public um, but it's these are good if you want to go more advanced same thing you're gonna do this grab with grab your back foot right here pull out this is a deeper stretch Again, once you do that one side, do to the other. Remember just to breathe. Relax. Flies open shit. <laughs> Alright. We done those. You can do the toe touches here. See how your body is. If you can't touch your toes, maybe you can do this and slowly drag your toes out. Oh. It takes time. Just remember to put your head down, breathe, arch up, breathe. And when you put your head down, you're gonna feel it either the back of your neck, right here, or more on the hamstrings. Because you're not only stretching the muscles, but some nerves as well. So these are good. Do those for a while. I know I'm doing them quick. It's probably not good in this weather. It's cold. Hold it. Breathe. Crossovers. This is good for your your hips as well. Hip flexors, crossover. And remember, I know I'm doing these quick, but you want to hold to at least five to ten seconds. Switch to the other side. Maybe you can do three on each side. When you're not skating, rainy day, best opportunity. Get out the foam roller, start stretching for at least 15 to 30 minutes to an hour. The more you do that, the better you get on the board. You maximize your range of motion, you're opening your hip flexors, doing different stretches, uh, and it's good for skateboarding. So, those are some stretches I like to share with you guys. Uh, if you would like to know more tips, techniques, any more stretches you'd like to know, just comment below and uh, just like, share, and subscribe. Once again, just hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have anything you want to ask, you know, just comment below. Hope you guys have a nice day.